Hey, what's going on? It's Decide New 236. So I want to ask the question, have you ever thought about setting someone else up for success? So earlier today, I went to an event where it was pretty much a handoff of responsibility from one individual to another. And one of the things that was echoed throughout the conversation uh, to everyone that was there was how they were setting the other individual up for success. Right? There was this transition of power and they had done everything in this turnover to go ahead and set the next guy up for success, set the next gal up for success. And I think sometimes we forget that the, the things that are going on, the things that we have going on in wherever it is that we are, when we leave that situation, when we leave that area, we leave that you know company or we leave that job, whatever it is, we want it to be successful still. Truly, you, you have to want it to be successful. And the, the best way to do that is by setting the next individual up for success. When you do that, you are ensuring that the legacy that you did have there continues far off, uh, you know, beyond you leaving and, and stepping away from it and giving it to someone else. Because everything that you've had and everything you've set up and everything that you've done over whatever period of time it is, is now going to be taken on by the next individual. And yeah, they're going to adjust things and they're going to modify things in their own you know, you know, specific ways because that's just how it is. But you've done your part to ensure that you, di- you set them up for success. You gave them all of the tools that you had. You, you gave them all the things that, you know, hey, this didn't work for me. Hey, this did work for me. These are things that, you know what, uh, you know, the boss doesn't like. These are things that the CEO of the company doesn't like. These are the things that manager of, of, you know, McDonald's doesn't like. Whatever, you know, the situation is. And then these are the things that they do. These are the things that you're able to do. These are the, the ways and this is, you know, the amount of influence you're going to be able to push out. And this is, you know, the different things that you're going to be able to uh, accomplish without, you know, being micromanaged at a, at a, from a higher level. So, so often, I think sometimes people forget that, you know what, you have to set someone up for success. You do. If, if you go into a job and there's no one there and you know there's no transition of power and there's no you know specifics on what that individual before you did, then yeah, you're starting from scratch. But when you have that opportunity, you have the luxury of you know going in and getting something from someone, seeing what they did, seeing you know all the good things and all the things like I said that didn't work for them, and then getting the briefs and getting that sitting you know the, the time to sit down and have a conversation with them and really do this turnover and really do this, you know, transition piece that that I believe is essential, that sets you up for success in the future. Because you know, hey, I've done everything that I was supposed to do. I've handed it off. I've crossed all the T's and I've dotted all the I's. And then I go on to something bigger and better. And the other individual that comes in behind me, yeah, they can adjust things and they can make their own, you know, way forward. But I did what I was supposed to. And I ensured that I gave them everything that I had. And then when I go forward in the future, ensuring that what the things that I gave are the same things that I'm asking when the next transition happens. Because as you work your way up, you know, the corporate ladder in whatever, you know, business it is, there's going to be these transitions that you're going through. And there's going to be individuals that you are replacing and that there are going to be individuals that are replacing you eventually if you continue that upward progress. So at the end of the day, to be successful overall, it's not just always about your success specifically. It's about setting up the next individual for success in what you were doing so you can go on and accomplish bigger and better things and know that everything that you've done in the past doesn't go to waste overall. So think about that. Ask yourself that question. Are you setting up the next individual for success? Are are you being set up for success? And if the answer is no to those, ask questions. Find that individual, you know, that can help you with that transition. Find other individuals that might not be the specific individual that you're getting that from, but have done it in the past and know certain things that they should, you know, be asking. There's always some type of helping hand there for you. So until my next video, appreciate you watching Decide and Doom.